Hello everybody, this is Steve-O. And I'm Brian. And I'm Andrew. Welcome to the Self-Medic Podcast. Where we bring you life stories of everyday people that found a way to pursue their passions and bring a sense of purpose to their life. These life stories are unique in their own ways, and we hope they can inspire you to find your passions and live out your dreams. All right. Welcome to uh, episode, I don't even know. I was just going to say, man, I was going to start the <laughs> intro, but I was like, oh, shit, I don't even remember what episode this is, man. I, we're definitely in the 20s. I want to say like 22. That sounds about right. 22, 23, maybe 21. I don't know. Something like that. Something like that, yeah. Well, if you uh, haven't been paying attention to what we've been doing, we or if you're not watching the video that's on YouTube right now. Uh, Which you a, should be. Yeah, we got a whole new whole new setup right now we got these captain chairs which which are they're old but they're comfy they're super comfy right you say old i say broken in i like that analogy (laughs) yes sir that's a good one so yeah we decided to switch it up got away from the table so we could get you know some recording a little more yeah a little more casual vibe you know what i mean a little more it, it just feels better it does. It does. It just has a way better f- flow and vibe and feel to the whole deal. I, I, I'm i digging it, man. Yeah, it's a lot more comfortable. For Definitely sure. a lot more comfortable. And these uh, fancy, schmanchy, hands-free. <laughs> dude, these mic stands mic are where stands? it's at. Yeah. These things are where it's at, dude, for sure. I can like play video games on my phone and do a podcast at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, we just, you know, we got a lot of equipment recently in the past three months. That's what we've been doing was just, you know, kind of putting our foot down and investing some more money into business. And, you know, we really, we really started working on, working out these t-shirts. I'm sure you guys have seen them if you've been following us. If you're new to uh, Selfmatic and what we've been doing, we got some, some funny ones, some, some American Style ones. Oh, we got some on right now. I forgot that we're wearing them. Yeah, you got your. You got one of the funnier. Yeah. Style ones. Funny one. Touch my butt, or no? Touch my beard, and I'll touch your butt. Yep. And I got one of the American ones, the uh, Land of the Free, because of the Brave. I really love this T-shirt. This T-shirt's so awesome. Not only is the design really cool, but the quality of these shirts, man. The quality is just a plus, hands down. Super, most, super most, comfy. Yeah, the most comfortable T-shirt I've ever owned, man, for sure. Yeah, these shirts are 65% polyester, 35% cotton. So they're not super um, like scratchy, like 100% polyester. They're actually, because they have that cotton in them, they're super, super soft. And they're stretchy, and they breathe really well. So for the summertime. Phew. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's that's definitely us. I was just going to comment on that. You know, come summertime, I'm more of a tank top guy. Yeah. I, I know you are as well. But these T-shirts, uh, due, due to the fabric and, and, and the feel to them, it, it's, you know, I feel like, I don't know, sometimes like I go out and I wear a tank top and I feel like vulnerable sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with these T-shirts, it's like, yeah, you get you get the comfortability and, 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 and everything that you would have a tank top, but without that feeling. Yeah. It feels almost like you're not even wearing a shirt. It, it, yeah, it's, honestly, it really does. Like, you you know, once you slip it on, you can't even really tell you're wearing a t-shirt anymore. Yeah. Yep, so we got we got quite a few designs. I think we got, like, 12 men's designs. The women's designs, we have quite a few more because, I mean, let's be honest, the women are going to be the ones that buy this stuff mostly yeah. anyway. Women women buy clothes, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's no Chance, d- if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> yeah. So we got quite a bit of stuff for for the females and uh you know some flowy tank tops and some uh we're even gonna be we just recently got a hold of some muscle tanks so you can you know get some gym shirts and i think we even have some like gym quotes and stuff like that uh if you guys haven't already you can go and uh check out our our etsy store which is where we're selling all of our stuff right now until we can get an actual like e-commerce website put up it's uh it's a lot a lot more work and takes a lot more time than than you kind of think it does. But you can go check it out. It's uh selfmatic.etsy.com. 
And uh, for the 4th of July stuff, if you guys are going to order that. Hurry up. I mean, I unfortunately, by the time you're hearing this podcast. It'll probably be too late. Yeah. It'll probably be too late. Because I don't think I'm going to upload this, honestly, until the 5th of July anyway. So, so uh, yeah, maybe next time. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're not technically fourth of july yeah i was just gonna say i mean even if you do end up ordering one late they're not specific to fourth of july but yeah. you know they are the murica theme kind of a you know, yeah, american pride yeah the, exactly the american pride so really it is it's still good all year round i mean as you can tell i'm um yeah, know, oh, I'm, yeah. Wearing, I'm wearing mine you know for sure so i love it yeah i can't wait to get my hands on one of them tank tops so i still haven't found any well, I, I know, but so yeah, you know what I mean. Get, it, yeah, it, I can't it, wait to get a tank top that I can print on and uh, that works for our situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Those hundred, we have some hundred percent ones that are like more athletic, and they're cool if you were to be, you know, playing basketball or something like that. They'd work, but yeah, casual wear, mm, nah. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you. Not not feeling it. So eventually we'll find something we'll keep we'll keep digging into it and slowly but surely i mean i mean uh, shit man the man hours that have gone down into all this in the last couple of months is yeah it's crazy it's been nuts (laughs) it's crazy how little sleep i've gotten in the last three months and i i even get asked um you know like hey what are you doing for fourth of july and i'm just like (laughs) <laughs> uh, no pro- idea probably probably nothing <laughs> what do you mean you're not doing anything i was like i don't know i don't have any plans because i'm usually working on self-matic stuff and that's all i have planned is self-matic stuff and when i have free time then i make do with i find something to do yeah yeah but it's all right man we can reminisce on last year's vacation for fourth of July. oh i know you know what i mean i i feel like i feel like even if we end up doing nothing, nothing. Even if we just end up hanging out here and and you know have a few friends and family over, I'm all right with that. Yeah, that's yeah. fine with me. I haven't spent the Fourth of July home, uh, I think, in in quite a while. You know, it's always been barbecue here. Last year was Florida. You know, so yeah, definitely got. I wish our backyard had a pool because that's kind of what I want to do this Fourth of July. Just barbecue poolside. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That's like your typical Fourth of July. I don't even care to go see fireworks. Like, I know, I- I'm with you, man. I'm not. I'm, it, I'm with you. It's I'm always with it's you. the same every year. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool for the kids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely really cool for the kids, for sure. Yeah, but I don't but, even think I have my daughter this year. So yeah, we're grown now. Fireworks are cool, but me. Yeah. They're more fun when you're like out in the desert and you can shoot them at each other and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna argue with you. <laughs> when you just gotta watch, that's no fun. Not to me. But well, that was like last year, man, when we were in Florida and BJ set his whole yard on fire. Oh yeah. Like that I, was funny. <laughs> I'm good, man. I don't want to partake in any of that, man. <laughs> I ain't trying to. Burn the house down. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> well, um, yeah. If you guys are new, uh, I kind of touched on it a little bit. But if you guys are new here, uh, the last couple months, it's probably just looked like we're just an apparel company. But lo and behold, uh, we'd actually like to be more so of uh, media you know, podcast videos, stuff like that. And the apparel is also like the fun part of the brand for us. We just, the last few months, we really had to focus on getting that stuff up off the ground because doing both at the same time, that was just wasn't possible. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. Well, it's kind of cool though, because, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, it's kind of like even when we first started podcasting, it was kind of like almost overwhelming until we got a feel for it, caught a flow, and now it's kind of just like almost second nature. And I feel like with the whole t-shirt and apparel deal, uh, it's similar. You know, it, it takes a lot, like you said, to get it off the ground, get going, get the wheels in motion. But now that we've established, you know, we got some designs going and we got, 
some options available. And, and, you know, now that it's, now that it's put together, you know, now that it's built, it just requires maintenance. So I think that it'll, it'll get a little bit easier, a little bit more, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, definitely. So I feel like that is with anything. Yeah, absolutely. Anything that you want, you want to do in life, you know, if you want to, I don't know, start a gaming YouTube channel. I only use it as an example because I kind of want to. But <laughs> if that's what you want to do, like get yourself a webcam and get yourself a video game and just do it. Like play and record and and little by little, like sure, your videos are most likely going to suck at first, hands down. I've gone back and watched the first couple videos that i've made and and even to this date i feel like my videos suck but watching the first couple ones they like really sucked (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) Uh, uh, okay i'll agree with you the first couple the first couple even still well i guess my opinion is just a little bit different because uh you know uh not everybody can do that kind of stuff Uh, you know it took me i kind of had to fight to learn how to you know, do the editing and stuff myself too. You know, it, it's, that's a challenge. Oh, it is. It, it's, it's definitely a challenge when you have all this content and, and you have different clips here on this and different clips there and then try to mash them together and establish a flow. You, you, you gotta be, you gotta be pretty smart, man. You know, it's not easy, but your later videos are awesome. I don't give a fuck what you say. You say they suck. That's fine. You, you can be your own worst critic. That's cool. But I disagree. No, I'm, not, I'm saying I'm saying my first one sucked. Well, yeah, my last one I just did kind of sucks. But then you know the, <clears> we did a what was the one before that? That was a, like a summer vacation trip or the uh, were you talking about the one the L.A. trip one you did? Or was, I didn't do a L.A. trip one. Did you I? You did a little video f- when you guys went to L.A. Didn't you? Oh yeah, just recently when I bought my camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about that one. I didn't really like that one. No, uh, I liked it, man. There, I just there wasn't like any context. There wasn't like, there wasn't a story behind. Well, the okay, video. Okay, granted. Well, you know what? Maybe due to the fact that I'm on the inside and I kind of know that maybe that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, probably. But, yeah. But uh, I, I I thought it was great. I liked it. Yeah. It'll get there. I, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. You know, as far as you know, uh, transitions. There's so many different ways that you can do transitions. Yeah. And like masking one video and then underlaying another clip. And it's, I don't want to get into detail because most of the yeah, people. Yeah, don't give away the secrets, man. Well, most of the people <laughs> that I'm talking to right now don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's just with anything. Like when we first started doing these t shirt designs, we have my, my little brother, he's our graphic designer, and, and both me and Andrew were. We get we we don't, we don't even know heads. we don't yeah. even know what to do. We're just gonna take some text. Hopefully, we can find some dingbats, and then we're just gonna like overlap them on each other and make it work. And the first designer to work like that, and then little by little, we started to figure out you know how to how to cut stuff up and draw stuff on our own, so that way you're not just you know using pre-made drawings. Yeah, you can draw oh, your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all this stuff and. Little by little, I I tell him, tell Andrew all the time, you remember three months ago when we said we had no idea how to do this <laughs> stuff? Yeah, check you guys out now, man. And, and now it's, 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 it's not easy, and we still have a lot to learn, but it's definitely, it's not hard, not anymore. So I feel like that goes with anything. Anything you want to start, just... Yeah, I feel like the scariest part is, 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 you know, when you're thinking to yourself, like, I want to do this, I don't know how, but due to the fact that you don't know how, I, I feel like that gets in your head a lot of the time. And, and, and I, well, for me personally, anyway, you know, and that for me, that's like the hardest part is just put it in motion. Don't be scared. Who cares? You're going to fuck up. Well, whatever. Do it again. Figure it out. You know, pretty much just handle it, you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, have fun. You did something new you know yeah yeah i feel like that goes with for anything yeah absolutely it is it is with anything you do yeah anything <clears throat> like the first time i went and raced my rc truck i was kind of nervous oh i had never done it before <laughs> and now it's like no big deal granted i've only done it 
four or five times, but I don't feel nervous anymore. See, man, to go hand in hand with your RC experience, I mean, you know, I'm in super huge into RC, and, and for me, I've raced RC, or I mean, not raced, excuse me, but I've played with RC my whole life, and, and up until just recently, you know, me and a couple buddies, we started going to the track and whatnot, and I had, I had never officially got into a race. I'd practice, cool, I'd get out on the track, and yeah, I'd be decently fast, you know, I wouldn't be slow anyway, and, and uh, first time I tried to enter in a race, I had, I had failures, so I, it was just like, it was like the, the, the overwhelming just kept like stacking up, yeah. and then until <laughs> last weekend, you know what I mean, so it was like, come last weekend, my first like, my first race, my car's legit, I got good rest, I'm like mentally prepared, and what happened? I pulled off the W. There you go. You know what I'm saying? It, it was like I needed to shake that off, man, and it felt so good. It was so rewarding. Yeah, it's, now you know what it feels like, and so now it's kind of something to strive for. Absolutely, man. I'm thirsty for it for sure. Yeah. It, it God, it was such a great feeling, dude, especially like when you're battling with your buddies on the track, and it's like you guys are first, second, first, second, first, second. Like, oh, dude, it's just – there's nothing like it, man. Yeah, that's that's what this would be fun for me is with your friends. You know, if it's just you battling, racing yourself Schmo, and yeah. racing whoever, and it's like, eh, whatever. But, yeah, when you're racing your friends, that makes it that much more exciting and competitive. Cause it, it, and it's it, the, the coolest part about it is in the pits, yeah, we're a team. You bet your ass, we're a team. But on the track, don't <laughs> yeah. get in front of me, homeboy. I'm going <laughs> to hack the shit out of you. <laughs> so, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, man. It's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, especially now that I shook off all the jitterbugs, man. That was that was the hardest part, man. It was hard, man. It was hard for me to do, man. It really was. I, 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 you know, like yourself, I'm my own worst critic, man. And I know when I'm messing up. And then, like I said, it was just like the it just kept stacking up. It was just like negative thought after negative thought after negative thought. And finally, I, I you know, I, you know, I was able to clear myself and and make it happen. That's so, good. Yeah. It, it was really I was, <laughs> like, surprised, but not surprised to see you send me that photo with you in first place. I was more surprised seeing Chad in second place. <laughs> no offense to Chad or anything. But. Well, and, and hands down, I don't know why, but he should have had first place. To be honest, uh, he, he's been, you know, he's been driving his ass off, practicing his ass off. He's got a lot of good parts on his car. His car's nice and dialed in my car is halfway there <laughs> you know it's halfway there but you know it, yeah yeah but you with your rc car is like me with my videos yeah i know yeah touche so touche. Now, you, now you know where i'm coming from when i say my videos are <laughs> shitty <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i bet you jo i bet you some some kid if i were to give him my car he'd be super stoked and to me i'm just like yeah there's still so much shit i gotta do to that thing before i you know before right. i feel right. good about it you know and then and then let alone you know my my driving characteristics too you know i feel like i need a, a lot more dialing in but you know everybody else seems to think i'm doing all right and i won so i guess you know maybe i am doing all right so i think so yeah i'm gonna roll with it i'm not gonna quit nah yeah You've already invested so much time. You might <laughs> yeah. as well just keep going. <laughs> I might as well just keep going. Exactly, <laughs> man. Exactly. So, right on, right on. Well, uh, this one's not going to be too long. I'm probably going to end it soon, this episode. Just wanted to kind of update you guys on what we've been up to. Uh, I'm going to try and work out a schedule to do these weekly again and get some more guests on. We might have a couple repeat guests from um, last 20 episodes yeah i remember we kind of started to uh, dig into that yeah i think uh we got some follow-ups lined up or or you know at least we talked about it before we took a break and started the t-shirt stuff i know that we had some uh potential, potential yeah potential, some potential it'd be nice to, to kind of see like you know because it's been a year it's been a year since we started doing podcasts yes. i think it was I think it's been it april of last year yeah i was just gonna say i think it's been a little bit better than a year so we're like 15 months since we started. And we got 27 episodes. That's at least one a month. That's not bad. 
That's not great. It should be like three or four a month. Yeah, I agree. It should be it should be minimal too. Like if like if yeah. you know something happens, it should nonetheless it should be a minimal of two. But yeah, um, I like the three. Shoot for four, settle for three, two. Uh, we got to pick it up. Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna start working on that now that the t-shirts are up and going and kind of you know on that maintenance stage. Uh, we're gonna be pushing out new designs for t-shirts, probably like. I don't know, one or two a month. I know we have one right now that's about to be released soon. Um, we got some other ideas in the works that we just, we kind of had a big 4th of July push, you know, trying to get t-shirts out. So that's all I've been doing is printing t-shirts. I think I need a back brace. <laughs> Poor guy, man. I, I, I know that you work just as far away from home as I do. And, and granted, you get home a little bit earlier, but, you know, the, I, I know how you are. And, and due to the fact that you get home a little bit earlier than I do, I know that you look at that as an opportunity to spend more time. And, and I know the effort and that, you know, that's gone into it all. And, and well, I appreciate that, Steve-O. That my, well, that it, my it extra work has not gone unnoticed. <laughs> I was just going to say, it doesn't go unnoticed, man. Well, it's just, it's it's who you are, you yeah, know, and, and it's and it's a great characteristic to have, man, you know. It just... Uh, hey, don't get me wrong. Today, I had to print five shirts. Five shirts. I wanted to come home and nap. I almost did. I almost went and lay down on the couch. <laughs> but I knew, I was like, no, I got stuff to do, and we got to do a podcast there's no way I can take even an hour nap. I'm just going to get to work and I'll, that'll wake me up. So, did it wake you up? Yeah, I'm still awake. I'm not <laughs> I don't feel tired. I definitely need to get some some dinner in me. I haven't eaten since like 11 and it's what like 9 almost. Uh something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's 9. Holy shit. It's 9. Yeah, I still got to work on my car. <laughs> so, probably gonna be a mcdonald's night tonight that's cool man that's fine so yeah uh go check out the etsy store guys yeah i promise you will not be disappointed i promise if you guys like you know funny shirts like this one if you guys like to go to brunch we got one on there that says brunch squad you know you can roll with all your like peeps like we do we roll like twenty deep to to brunch. Yeah, we tear it up. Yeah. <laughs> no joke, we, and we tear it up. We sit there for like three hours drinking mimosas. mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, I know, we're not the only ones. Hey, Sunday fun day, man. That's right. Hey, that's it's about I- to be football season, dude. That's too. a good idea for a t-shirt, man. Sunday fun day. Well, yeah, it's not really original though. How much more original does it get? That no, because that's. But no, that's not original because it's <laughs> it's not like your own thing. It's it's a thing already. Touche. No, no, no you yeah, know what I'm I guess yeah. So fine. But if you guys want kidding. a Sunday Fun Day shirt, let us know and we'll make one. Yeah, we'll make it our own way. That way it looks. That's cool. what I meant, man. We could like put a twist on. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, because I love With my the football Sunday. in there. What whatever or something whatever you know I yeah I'm super excited about football season we're getting really close I'm just ready for some chicken wings well we could do that any time of the year bud hardball hot sauce you know I, what I'm talking about yes sir hardball <laughs> hot sauce in the house <laughs> keep it in the fridge hell yeah baby I honestly haven't really even had any because I haven't really been on well the let's wings be honest we haven't tacos. we haven't gone grocery shopping and and That's really true. like done anything to use it with properly anyway you know like, that's true i don't like to waste it on like, exactly i'm not gonna put it on yeah. on on fast food or or you know whatever shit that we normally eat shit shit yeah. i know i know yeah well it's because we've all been busy i know you know I, I, it's I, not an excuse but well, it is I, I, was, I was just gonna say <laughs> excuses are like assholes everybody has one i know i know but but I'm still losing weight, so it's all right. Yeah. At least, you know, I know, I know we eat out, but <laughs> you sounded so sad right now. <laughs> well, yeah, I got to make a video in a couple of weeks now because of it. <laughs> I for sure thought that you guys were going to be more into the bet like I was, but it was like total secrecy. Once, once the bet was on, it was like, 
nobody said a word about yeah, shit. Yeah, nobody talked shit to nobody. And nobody <laughs> said their weight, and it, I was just like, ah, eh, fuck it. <laughs> like, I did it for like two weeks, and I was like, where's the motivation? You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> oh you poor guy i know I... <laughs> that's the only reason why i wanted to bet was that way i could hear you guys talk shit to me <laughs> i needed the motivation <clears throat> i've been trying to motivate you for a long time i know uh, you know i i've been wanting to you know do all the you know like we used to do insanity way back in the day man we were both freaking super thin then you especially i was you I was were too thin you were, yeah. You didn't have enough thin. muscle on you for it to really like look good. Yeah. You, know, you know, you were, yeah, you were like, yeah, looking a little Ethiopian kid that hadn't eaten a month and a half. But I had a six pack, or a four pack, of beer. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pack, I know. Bro. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> I know. <clears throat> so, all right, guys. Well, go check out the Etsy store, uh, selfmatic.etsy.com. Our website is hasn't really changed much um, as of yet about another week or so that'll be updated as well that one is we are selfmatic.com and instagram facebook nothing's changed you know those are both uh you know selfmatic on both on both social media platforms yeah give us a follow share with your friends if you guys like our t-shirts maybe maybe you have a friend that might like one of our t-shirts send it their way see if uh you know, I got to do is share it. That You don't got to buy it for him. Just share it. Spread the love. Spread the love. Yeah, we'd much appreciate it. Leave and us some uh, feedback. We'd love to hear. We'd love to hear any any opinions, comments, ideas, you know, whatever. You know, we're, we're, we're willing to collaborate. Yeah, so. and this, uh, this podcast is also about our guests. And our guests are, are always, always inspiring to me and motivate me to to do better so if you guys are on a journey of your own and you want to bring up your story and talk about your story and your triumphs and and all that stuff uh send us a message and and we'll talk and we'll work something out and absolutely that'd be awesome yeah we'd we'd love we'd love to have you on if uh you're going through something like we are right now but with that said my name is brian and I'm Steve O. And this is Selfmatic. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, share our videos, share our posts. Whatever love is much appreciated. Absolutely. All right, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Love, peace, chicken grease. <laughs> Later. <laughs>